seconds in the 68. Oh, okay. Yeah. Daniel Yoakum in the number 21. Inman in the 17, Dalton in the red 21. And Donny Ost in the number 34. Look like a brand new skin on that Donny Ost machine as he'll start tailback on the field. Seven cars, eight times, that'll be the distance. As Keith Pratt looks him over, Sean Duncan leads him in and here we go off turn number four. Headed off into turns three and four, Sean Duncan out in front. Chase Parmley in the number two position. Watkins third, but he's got company coming as Jackie Dalton looking to the top side. Jackie Dalton backing off just a little bit off of turn number two, bobbled just a little bit. He gathers it back in and he's back on the charge. Off turn number four, Jace Parmley still trying to chase down that seventh car and maybe getting it done a little bit. Jackie Dalton though on the charge as he's up to third and looking for more. Here they come off of turn number four. Duncan is your leader. Jackie Dalton putting some pressure on Jace Parmley as they run their way through turn one and two. Jace Parmley a little bit quicker than the leader down in three and four. Sean Duncan a little bit faster down in one and two, but this battle for the lead starting to heat up. Three cars gonna be battling for that top spot. As they work through turn number one, they've kind of settled in right now. Everybody pretty much single file. Best race right now between Aust and the number 21 of Yoakum. Jackie Dalton now seems to be off just a little bit. Is that 21 car going in the wrong direction? He'll try to regroup. Armley also not as close to the leader as he was a few minutes ago. Watkins drifting back as well. He's in fourth. Aust right up on his back bumper. White flag in the air for Sean Duncan and Jackie Dalton now just as I say that coming back to life going after the 82. Down on the bottom side looking as he goes into turn number three. We'll see if he can make the pass. Meanwhile take a checkered flag. It's going to be the seven car of Sean Duncan. Jackie Dalton picking up that number two spot by just about a half a foot. Nice run there for Jace Parmalee in third. Official sponsor of RB Modifieds and a great partner of the Springfield Raceway. If you're looking for a brand new Chevrolet car, truck, SUV, check them out. Reliable Chevrolet, they got the selection and they got the pricing. Reliable Chevrolet, the big lot here in Springfield, Missouri, as the cars roll out for heat race number two. It's going to be Mike Green in the number 54. Mike Green, I believe he run some Midwest mod previously here at the Springfield Raceway. Up on his outside on the row number one, Bill Schuber in the number 55. Michael Covey in the number 21. James Thompson in the number 11. Maggard in the 160. Here they come off a of turn number four. J.C. Morton starting third row outside. He'll try to make his way forward. Oh, problems, oh, problems again on the back stretch. I thought they had it cleared up and they're still making contact back in the back of the field. Believe that Sawyer Krigler making contact with Mike Green. They finally get it straightened out and we're back to racing, but almost three accidents right there on lap one. Off of turn number four, it's Bill Shahuber leading the way in that number 55. Bill Shahuber up on the top side, but here comes James Thompson digging deep down on the bottom of the speedway. They're dead even at the line. Bill Schuber is going to have to pedal hard if he's going to stay ahead of that number 11 car of Thompson. About a half a car length now as they work their way into turns number three, coming off turn four. 
Shahuber still just barely holding on. Side by side down the back stretch. Colby right there in the number three spot if the top two mess up. Good battle for the lead as they come to the line. This time it's James Thompson by a full car length. Bobby Maggard Jr. to the pits in the 160. Problems for Bobby Maggard Jr. J.C. Morton up to fourth. He's digging hard, trying to move his way forward after that rugged start. Almost making contact. Did a nice job to stay out of trouble. And right now he's trying to run down Bill Shahoover in the 55. Off turn number four. They'll see the white flag this time. One more lap to go for James Thompson. A lot of smoke, Dennis. And I believe J the 18 car's got a rear end problem. Rear suspension about to come out from underneath that 18 machine. Up front, though, coming to the line, it's going to be James Thompson, Colby second, Shahuber third. And once again, J.C. Morton with a lot of problems in that 18 car. And we'll see if they can get that car repaired, but you could see that he's got some damage in the car really over on that left rear. And actually, I believe we could see some parts dragging, look like maybe a shock absorber dragging on that 18 car. Yep, and uh, probably a good thing there was no more laps left. I don't know if that car could have made one more complete lap at speed. As next heat race rolls off in the C88, earlier said that was possibly Corey Johnson, but it's not. That's Ferris Collier behind the wheel of the 88. Olin Stevens in the number 12, I believe. In the number 18 car, the uh, black and white 18. Austin Joplin, Aaron Scrogg is behind him in the quarter car. Ryan Thomas, the 414. Miller in the number 34. And in the number 30 car, Mark Long. Here they come off four. Ferris Collier getting a good jump on the start. Here comes Joplin trying to swing around the outside. Aaron Scroggins looking down to the bottom as they go into turns three and four, three wide. They clear Collier as they come off a of turn number four. It's going to be Joplin, your early leader in the number 18. Kate Miller making a nice charge in car number 34 down on the bottom of the speedway. He'll go around Ferris Collier and set sail for the top two. Problems for the number 12 car. He'll take it back to the pit area. A lot of smoke coming from the number 12. Aaron Scroggins sliding up in front of the 18 car. Joplin takes the lead. Now Joplin fights back down on the bottom. Here they come through turns three and four down on the bottom. Joplin, but Scroggins has the preferred line. He'll hold on to that lead as it goes into turn number one. Caden Miller right there in the 34 car trying to make his way up to the top two. Right now, the top two up on top. Miller working the bottom of the speedway, but Scroggins hooking it up up front, looking strong. Scroggins has a good car tonight as he leads his pack off of turn number two. Everybody pretty much single file now as they come off of turns three and four, laps winding down. Four car lengths for Aaron Scroggins. Austin Joplin still holding on to the number two position. Mark Long has made his way up into the fourth spot. Scroggins looking good out in front. Now working the bottom of the speedway. Off turn number four this time. It'll be the white flag. One more time around for Aaron Scroggins. Final time around, coming down to the start finish line. It'll be Aaron Scroggins, your winner. Joplin second, Caden Miller third. And I want to give a call to uh, Thomas Shaw. He's the one, and Dennis talked about him earlier. He's the one filming up here and uh, filming the cars up here on the, the uh, top of the booth. And uh, if you want to check out the racing action later on in the week, go to YouTube 
and uh, probably search Springfield Raceway and you can catch the racing action. It's a whole lot of fun to go to YouTube, uh, maybe uh, when you're supposed to be working at work. I don't do that, but some of y'all do. But uh, now when you're at home or whatever, just go to YouTube. And even this winter, you can watch the racing action at the Springfield Raceway and not miss a beat. Uh, and we really appreciate Thomas. And I mentioned that.